do your best impression of me. Basically, it's like if I'm coming from anywhere, when I walk in the door, this is, this is how it'll go. Okay, so, do you, get, do you get the scene? Okay, so I'm walking in the door, okay. Uh-huh. It's like, hey, how are you doing? Oh my gosh, I just read this article about this certain <laughs> medicine, but oh my gosh, you have to check out this essential oil, like this fusion of like lavender. I just going to give my son and daughter dinner. Hey, Kaluga, do that easy right now, right now! <laughs> the dishes, right? <laughs> Mira, Richard! Brandon! <laughs> what happened? Oh, no, no. <laughs> how was your day? How was, like, how was this person? How was the conversation with this person? And what did you eat? Was it good? Did you like it? Okay, let me, let me give you some <laughs> answer. Mom, do I have to do this now? I'm taking a break. Oh, Mom! <laughs> <laughs> when do I embarrass you the most? We, we were waiting for the bus stop because it was cold outside and there was a boy that I liked at uh -huh. the bus stop. Do you remember that? Because you take pictures so often. It was just like always like whipping out the video camera. And so you started looking at yourself in the rear view mirror, right? And I was like, Mom, don't look at yourself in the rear view mirror. And you said, why? Why can't I look at myself in the mirror? Just the matter, you're afraid that I'm gonna start looking at my pimples? If you could grant me one wish, what would that wish be? Travel the world and share your beautiful self. Just be happy and, and um, not worried or sad or just happy. I just want you to be happy. If I could grant you one wish, mm -hmm. a yes day. Yes! I just want you to be happy, you know? And that you can uh, get what makes you happy and stop being stressed and, you know. How am I helping you become the person you want to be? You're just always supportive. Like, you're definitely my biggest cheerleader. But being the uh, person who's always there for me and also, like, correcting my mistakes. You make me have to see a side that I might just step over or step through and you've really um, caused me to have more empathy, more patience, more understanding. What's a memory from your childhood you never want to forget? Family reunions in Puerto Rico. My sister and I were always at my brother's baseball games and you know Cub Scout dinners and Yo subí el árbol de mango y el árbol de mango no tenía no tenía ramos abajo, solamente bien arriba, pero yo no sé cómo yo me trepé. How do you describe me and our family to others? I would say a person who's always yelling and always making jokes about everything. <laughs> well, it's unspeakable that it's that it's an amazing family. They said, when I think of your family, I think of a cannon shooting confetti. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what they said <laughs> <our family. laughs> What is something that you never want me to forget? How much I love you and how special you are to me, and I never want you to forget, more importantly, uh, how much God loves you. How precious time is and it is important to spend quality time. Eh, yo quiero que siempre sepas que yo te quiero mucho, que tú eres la luz de mi vida y que eh, yo siempre estoy aquí para ti, aunque a veces no, eso no, ap no pa aparece que es de esa manera. Okay? Should I say it in English? If I were a superhero, what would my name <laughs> and three superpowers be? You do not have to breathe. You can go in space. You have invisibility. Whatever you think of can be can become real. That is dangerous. <laughs> and what would my superhero name be? Mother Hoodia. Mother Hoodia. <laughs> Mother Hoodia. <laughs> um, I guess Galactic Woman. <laughs> Thunder. Wind, uh -huh. and maybe water. Well, I guess one of your superpowers you could spread joy. I feel mm -hmm. like you are really good about like making people feel seen and welcomed. I don't know that we need any other name than Leticia. Okay. I mean, I don't know that you need another name. You know, able to get into situations that could never be imagined. <laughs>
I mean, that's not a superpower. <laughs> Always being comfortable. Your uniform would be <laughs> pajamas, okay? Um, with That's your true. bathrobe cape, uh huh. You have an empathy and a persistence that I have, um, I've never seen in anybody else. You know, even, even people that I think wouldn't deserve it, including myself, and you would still help them, you know? And you stuck through so much. Like, I, you know, I, being a single mom, and I look back at how did you do that? How did you put me through private school that I, you know, I had a car to drive, I had TV in my room, I had clothes that were in style, I had, I went on trips when I was a kid, and you were single mom. Like, how did you do that? It's a superpower. You know, because now having to do that myself, and I'm, you know, I, you didn't have the support that I had. You know, so, real superpower, that's a superpower. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's superpower. It's your turn. You need to look me in the eye uh -huh. and tell me something in silence, not using any words. Oh my God. <laughs> so how can you do that? for you to respond. <laughs> you love me? Yeah. <laughs> what am I saying? I feel like you'd probably be saying like, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so grateful I could speak to you in, with my eyes. Wow. That you knew. Okay. <laughs> Killed it.